The kings west of the Jordan, including the Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, came together to wage war against Joshua and Israel. However, when the people of Gibeon heard about Joshua's actions against Jericho and Ai, they ruse by claiming to be his servants and living in a dry and moldy environment. They asked Joshua for a treaty of peace, but the Israelites did not inquire about the Lord. Joshua made a peace treaty with the Gibeonites, allowing them to leave, and the assembly leaders ratified it by oath. Three days later, the Israelites discovered that they were neighbors and set out to their cities, Gibeon, Kephara, Beroth, and Kiriath Jerim. The assembly leaders swore an oath to the Lord, the God of Israel, and they agreed to let them leave so that God's wrath would not fall on them for breaking the oath. Joshua summoned the Gibeonites and asked why they deceived them by saying they lived far from them while actually living near them. They explained that they were under a curse and that God had commanded Moses to give them the whole land and wipe out its inhabitants. They were now in the hands of God, and Joshua saved them from the Israelites and made them woodcutters and water carriers for the assembly. Joshua saved the Gibeonites from the Israelites and made them woodcutters and water carriers for the assembly, providing for the needs of the altar of the Lord.